Shutting down city streets and opening up shop. The city's open boulevards kicked off in Logan Square today. As CBS 2's Jackie Costick tells us, it's drumming up support for local businesses. So what this open boulevards concept did was allow the Logan Square Farmers Market to expand and include additional vendors. And I spoke to an organizer who said that the vendors really understand how solid this customer base is. She said that they set up and often sell out before noon. It was like a whole new marketing for us. Deb Kramer has been selling her handmade soaps at the Logan Square Farmers Market for as long as she's owned her business, 15 years. Usually on a bear game day, the crowd will have died out a little bit by right after 12, but today I feel like it's been strong all the way to the finish line. Kramer attributes that crowd size to today's Open Boulevard event, a new city-run series that shut down stretches of Logan Boulevard and Kedzie Avenue to bring people together around food, music, shopping, and entertainment. Nilda Esparza runs the Logan Square Chamber of Commerce, and she says the expansion was planned in about two weeks and allowed for 32 more small businesses to join in. This Open Boulevards concept gave us the opportunity to invite vendors that have been on our waiting list for many, many years. The neighborhood centric events are taking up where Sundays on state left off last week. The city reported more than half a million people attended during that eight week series, spending an average of about 160 bucks each at loop businesses. The city puts the overall economic impact at $12 million. Esparza estimates about 6,000 people strolled the shutdown streets today, up from an average of 4,500 on a typical Sunday. That strength in crowd size translates to strength in profit, too, at least for Kramer. We're probably about 25 or 30 percent over what we normally would do, I would say. The next stops for this open boulevard series will happen on the south and west sides. They will be scheduled in the coming weeks. In Logan Square, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.